Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex from Coding Tips and welcome back to a brand new video. So basically, this video won't be, um, you say it, I coded because um, in the third part, so in the third part, we created the parallax effect, but the video was really long. It was about 30 minutes long and the parallax effect was only about five minutes of the video. The other part, we just styled our header. And basically, for those who don't follow that series, I wanted to explain how to create an, an amazing, really simple parallax effect, which is, like, as I said, really simple to do. So let's get right into the tutorial. So if you don't know what a parallax effect is, it's basically, let's say you have an image. And we have a background image right here. And when I scroll down, I want the image to scroll up. When I scroll up, I want the, the image to scroll down. So that's what a parallax effect is, and um, if you can't imagine it, just wait to the end where I'll actually show you the final result. So let's get right into the tutorial. So um, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using, of course, JavaScript to create it because I'm not sure you can do it with CSS. Maybe you can with translate and everything, but with JavaScript or in, in or um, actually jQuery, it's a lot easier. So. Um, what you need to do actually is you need to have like let's say you want to have a header in the background image you want to have a parallax effect for the background image well you're gonna need um, another layer so you're not gonna set the background image to the header you're gonna set the background image to a whole new wrapper let's say so we're gonna call that wrapper like let's say header bg we're gonna close the div and we're gonna come here and style it. So header oh, header bg. We're gonna say um, it has position absolute with 100%. Height, now hear me out. Height is gonna be 300%, and I'll explain in just a second why. Background um, image URL. And I am just going to copy this image address. I'm going to say background repeat, no repeat, and background, um, background size cover, and background position center, center, center. Awesome. Let's try it out. And awesome. So this is exactly what we wanted. But we want to say overflow hidden to the header. So overflow hidden. All right. There we go. Um, so actually background position, center, center. Um, yeah, I mean, the image is just really large. So I guess we can do, oh my God, Spotify. Um, we can do position bottom, center. Oh, actually, center, bottom. <laughs> Uh, let's go on. Okay, I don't know why. Background position, bottom. Oh my god, no. Bottom. Mm. I don't know what's the problem, to be honest. So I'm just going to leave it like this. There we go. Alright, so basically, why I did height 300%? Well, I'm, I did a little Photoshop image. And keep in mind that I'm not good at all at drawing, so... All right, so this is your viewport height. Um, I mean, not your viewport, it's your viewport. Uh, no, it's not your viewport height, it's your viewport. So I don't know why I said v VH, but it's viewport. And basically, this is what you see. All right, and this is, this is what, what's going to happen if your image is 100% of the height. So when you zoom in, look what happens. So when I scroll down or up, it's going to... Uh, follow the the page. It's not gonna have any overflow to scroll up and down But look, look what happens when the height is 300% when I zoom in and I zoom out You can see that there's still left of the image and there's gonna be um, Something left to scroll for the image. So that's why the height is 300% All right, I hope that makes sense So now when we've done that we can go in our JavaScript. So of course, we want the function to run, you know, the parallax effect to run whenever you scroll. So we're going to say window.scroll function 
And basically, whenever we scroll, something's gonna happen in here. So we're gonna set a var, var oh my god, a variable of our um, header, no, of our scroll. So I'm gonna say scroll of our offset actually equals um, this. So window dot scroll top. Now let's console dot log it so I can show you what it's gonna return. Let's go inspect and um, wow, that's huge console. So now when we scroll, we can see our offset from the top. All right, and that is exactly what we want. So now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, so I'm just gonna remove the console.log. As you can see that it returns our offset from the top. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna target our header bg so our image basically our image wrapper we're gonna give it and we're, and we're gonna be changing the css so since it has position of absolute we un automatically unlocked the css attribute of top all right so top and then we're gonna set its value so the value is gonna be um i'm gonna say in parentheses it's gonna be um it's gonna be scroll top minus. We're also gonna need the. Wait, hold on a second. So actually, no, it's only gonna be scroll top, and let's just do minus scroll top. All right. So it's gonna be actually. Let me retry this. So it's gonna. So the offset of the image is gonna be scroll top. Well. It's not going to be exactly scroll top because uh, actually I need to do plus pixels. So because look what happens when it's on scroll top. When we scroll down, it's the image scrolls down as well. And we want it to scroll up. Oh my god, my Spotify again. I'm really sorry. And so since we want it to scroll up when we scroll down, we're going to say minus scroll top. Let's refresh. And, and so basically in theory we have our... Um, we have our parallax effect, but it's not as smooth as, as um, we think it should be. So actually, let me say 100 viewport height so I can show you the whole image. Like this. So no, that's not good at all, and it's really fast. So what if we want to make it a little bit slower? Well, that's actually really easy to do, so we're going to multiply it by a number. Well, what is that number going to be? Alright, so the higher the number we multiply it, um, the hot the faster it's gonna scroll so if you multiply it by four it's gonna scroll four times faster as you can see if we multiply it um, by 0 0.4 it's gonna scroll a lot slower as you can see so basically that's our parallax effect and that's not a good image at all so I'm gonna actually try and find a new image uh, and that looks uh, pretty good, so hope it's a small image. It is. And I'm gonna put it really quickly in our CSS. Okay, um, wow, I don't know why that keeps on happening. So I just want to show you the image. So background position, bottom, come on, please. No, it's still no. I don't see why not. Uh, Bottom, okay, I'm wasting your time right now and I can just feel it, whatever. Okay, so as you can see, we have a parallax effect. When you scroll down, the image scrolls up. When you scroll up, the image, the image scrolls down. And that's basically it. So, as I said, if we multiply it by 1, it's going to be the normal value. So that's the default value, as you can see. And if we multiply it, oh my god. If we multiply it by 4, it's going to be 4 times faster, as I said. Um, See, so now, when when uh, it scrolls beyond its, beyond the image height, it's going to actually show what's under beneath. That's why I recommend using like a smaller value, like 0 0.4, or like, let's just say 2. Like, it's going to be 2 times faster. So, of course, that's a really fast parallax effect. And as I said, the height needs to be 300%. Well, if you don't, if you still don't believe me, why? I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen if the height is 100%. Yeah, that's why. There is nothing to 
there, the, there's nothing for the image to overflow, so that's why there's nothing to scroll. It has to overflow of the container to basically be able to scroll up and down. If it's 100%, it's gonna scroll up, but if there's nothing beneath the image, so that's why it's gonna show you our header. So that's our little quick tutorial, which is actually not very quick. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.